high right. performance yeah. on retail is popping up and it's going to be significant. And I think the two will connect, especially when you deal with somebody like a with like Target and Walmart, they're going to have to figure out, well, do I have a micro fulfillment on retail and a micro fulfillment on grocery or mm -hmm. are they somewhat combined? Okay. Now, how can I efficiently get them both out? If the same house wants grocery and something, how do I get them both there as a, as opposed to making it two different service charges to that customer or to the right. brand that has to, to add that cost on or the retailer themselves who have to ask to add that cost on it gets expensive for everybody. A while back when we came up with this idea, we foresaw that and thought, well, what if we had a, that's why we refer to ourselves as a micro last mile network, mm -hmm. is that what if you need somebody to deliver from the back of a building like that? Mm -hmm. FedEx and UPS with their, with their serious infrastructure makes good sense, but you're going to need a lot of volume for them to come grab that from you to, to do it. But if mm -hmm. we can do it straight from that warehouse mm -hmm. or collectively pull a bunch of volume from warehouses and bring it back to FedEx or UPS, that, that's not a bad play, but we can even do it straight from that warehouse if there's enough volume mm. to move it on a, on a consistent route basis. Right.